Have you ever wondered about the top three ways to get rid of acne scarring? And also, what works and what doesn't work? Wouldn't you just love to know that? I can't wait to share with you my best skin boosting tips as an advanced aesthetic registered nurse. Skin is my job. I help people look good. That's what I do. I've helped tons of clients get over their acne, whether it's through really good skincare guidance or skin and laser treatments. But I will share with you, it's one of the most challenging things that I do in my position. So what you can do at a younger age to prevent acne scarring is actually even better. So I'll give you some of those tips and tricks in this video too. I'm gonna break it down for you and let you know what works and what doesn't work so that you stop wasting time and money on products and procedures that don't work. And obviously tips for maintaining healthy skin and preventing future breakouts because yours truly, I'm considered acne prone. So that time of the month, I have to work extra hard to prevent breakouts, but I have awesome tools to make them go away fast. First of all, let's help you figure out if you have acne scarring, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which is the red spots that are left after the breakout, which are super annoying, or if you have a combination of both. And actually, most of us do have a bit of a combination of both, so let's get into it. In this photo of the very beautiful Kylie Jenner, but of course, I mean, she's a different person than she was five years ago, physically speaking, because of all the work she's had done, which, I mean, is fine as long as she's happy. But what I really want to point out in this picture is the pigmentation that she has. She obviously struggles with acne also and has a ton of pigmentation. And I'm really surprised in this picture because uh, this is after she'd had, you know, Botox, lip fillers, things like that. It's like, why didn't she get an IPL done for her pigmentation? And I'm going to tell you all about that. But just goes to show you the power that uh, makeup can do, makeup and Photoshop. Like, you know, she does not have healthy looking skin in this picture, unfortunately, with the redness post breakout. I mean, it's looking kind of smooth and things like that, but it could be lifestyle related or just her skin type. So it's important to identify if, you know, why you're having breakouts. Is it your body telling you something? It's important to tune into that. This is also a great reminder to show you that, you know, celebrities don't have magical genes. They're just like you and I and everybody else. They can have skin concerns also. I am also acne prone too, so I have to work really hard at this. Kylie is a great example of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Also, just a little sidebar is that there's a trend in the cosmetic makeup industry to actually add freckles uh, with semi-permanent makeup. Don't do it. Just, just don't. That is a really bad idea. And unfortunately the pigment or like the tattooing, which is another word for it, the ink, the dye, the pigment, whatever, is, you know, those little spots there that might look cute now, they might go like some weird random color and forget trying to get them removed. Tattoo removal on your face does not sound like a good time. In this picture, it doesn't really look like she has like true active acne. Um, it just looks like a little bit of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So I bet if she bumped up her skincare routine, proper cleansing, moisturizing, sunscreen, and a really good scrub, and then getting in some laser treatments, it could really help. So I'm gonna get into the details of what lasers could be beneficial. All right, here's my favorite thing to preach on. Number one. Medical grade skincare. Absolutely, you need to be properly cleansing the skin morning and night, moisturizing morning and night, sunscreen, exfoliating. I have a whole playlist on skincare, which you absolutely should binge watch because there's some good stuff in there. But seriously, every day using really good medical grade products that are going to have active ingredients like your salicylic acid, your benzoyl peroxide, glycolic acid, in really slick formulations that aren't going to make your skin freak out. They're not gonna make your skin go red and flaky. You know, you actually wanna be kind of kind to your skin if you are acne prone. But really good skincare is important to feed and nourish the skin so that the skin can be healthy and also prevent future breakouts. And have some products at home, like really good spot treatments, to make those breakouts go away faster. I help people understand which products and procedures are helpful for them, doesn't matter where you are on the planet, it's called Skype, it's called FaceTime, 
you can actually book a one-on-one -on -one with me at rachelvarga.ca and I can help you figure out which products and procedures are helpful for your skin type. Okay, the second way to get rid of acne scarring is actually using injectables. Dermal fillers can be applied uh, just gently underneath the scar and actually by using the needle to go underneath the scar, it's called subcision to some degree. It's actually breaking apart little bands of scar tissue that's kind of holding that scar down like your box scar, your rolling scar, your ice pick scar, and it can kind of help to uh, stimulate new collagen formation underneath. And then a little deposit of the dermal filler helps to whoop, pop up that scar, it works really well. I would only recommend doing injectables for deep scarring, acne scarring, after you've bumped up your skincare routine and maybe had a laser treatment or two under your belt. But it does work very well, but you obviously have to do multiple areas with it. All right, number three, this is where a ton of people waste time and money by buying into gimmicky products and procedures, at-home devices, at-home lasers, spa lasers, things like that. Uh, there's a lot of wimpy lasers out there that really aren't going to give you textural improvement. And I find for acne scarring, you really have to kind of pull out the big guns, if you will. Laser technologies vary and it's constantly advancing. But at this point, for the example of Kylie Jenner, what she could benefit from would be an intense pulse light or a photofacial treatment, which is best done in the fall winter months when you don't have a tan. That light based treatment gets rid of the reds and browns in the skin and gives a bit of like a magic eraser look. And that's one of the reasons my skin looks so clear is because I love getting an IPL treatment about one to three times a year to keep my red acne scars at bay and brown spots and fine lines and wrinkles and stimulating collagen. Be sure to check out my, one of my upcoming videos where I actually show an IPL treatment live and how it works, what it does, all the ins and outs of it. So stay tuned for that one. For scarring that's casting a shadow on the skin, like I mentioned before, the ice pick scars, the box car scars, or the rolling scars, those actually need to be resurfaced. And probably the best way to resurface them is with a CO2 laser at this time. But unfortunately that can be like 10 days of downtime. So a lot of people can't really handle that degree of downtime because you're red for like 10 days. You literally can't leave the house. Other treatments I can recommend at this time is a treatment with say a Fotona laser. So it uses a deep fractionated laser treatment, which is way better than in-office microneedling. It's basically needling the face with the laser. So there's no needles involved. It's basically causing controlled beams of energy into the skin and stimulates collagen really deep, much deeper than a microneedling treatment is going to go. And then you can kind of airbrush the skin afterwards with an erbium laser to give what's called a micro laser peel or a cold laser peel. You've probably heard these brand names, the J-Beam, the Cool Beam, the Cool Laser, the Cool Beam. These can be branded however they want, but for the Fotona technology, it's called the Micro Laser Peel. It's the friggin' bomb. It shrinks your pore size like nothing else. And that deep fractionated laser with a little bit more superficial uh, feathering of the skin is really great and very effective for acne scarring. It's going to beat out in-office microneedling with PRP any day. Some of the other lasers out there that you'll probably find discounted at a spa or on Groupon or even at some medical offices, they have these kind of flaky lasers. Um, they're going to kind of feel a bit warm and maybe give you only one to two days of downtime. They're really not as deep as you should be going. If you have really deep acne scarring, you kind of have to go with the ones that give you a little bit more downtime and a little bit almost more wound care afterwards. Acne scarring can be really costly and if you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s and you're ready to invest in acne scarring treatments, you should really set aside about three to $4,000 for laser treatments and injectables. Yep, it's not cheap. I like to recommend about three of the IPL and then three of the deeper laser treatments about a month apart. So it might take you actually six months to a year to get those all under your belt and then new collagen forms about six to eight months later. So when you're working with deep acne scarring, you have to be patient. It's not going to go away overnight. It's one of the most difficult things that I treat in the office. And it does take an approach of you following really good skincare and also coming in for other treatments. So I'm gonna talk about chemical peels just shortly here. 
Chemical peels are a way to basically gently take off the top layer of the skin using a chemical solution. And with that one, um, the ones I like to use, you know, you look just fine afterwards. You might just have a little bit of flaking for a few days. So hydrofacial chemical peels, you can actually receive those a couple of times a year. It's great for every change of season. If you're acne prone like myself, you can have it every month around that time of the month uh, when you know you're gonna break out uh, based on your, your feminine cycle. And it's good to be aware of that, right? So you make sure you really don't sleep in your makeup that week before you menstruate because your hormones are going crazy and just don't. Just don't sleep in your makeup, just wash your face in the morning and night. Okay, as I always do in these videos, I always include a bit of a bonus tip. My bonus tip for you is to clean up your lifestyle, meet with a nutritionist, meet with a skin expert, dial in your health and wellness because your skin is the largest organ of your body. And if your skin doesn't look healthy, it's got some weird color to it. It's got some weird kind of like hues to it. It's not vibrant looking. Get it looked at by somebody. You can even meet with me virtually at rachelvarga.ca no matter where you are and I can help you figure out what you need to do in your specific case. Skincare is essential and wearing a non-comedogenic moisturizer and non-comedogenic makeup like the Glow Skin Beauty line. I freaking love it. It's awesome for all skin types and it forms really well on camera. I mean, I wear it in all my videos for all my photo shoots. I work out with it. I swim with it. It stays put. It's really great. You don't want to be using makeup or products that have like silicones and things like that in it because that just plugs the skin. And of course, if you're on your path to wanting to get rid of acne scarring, what's also really cool is to figure out ways to get glassier, smoother skin. So that's happening in the next video. And make sure that you watch my next video on how to get glassy and smoother and healthier looking skin. It's gonna be a good one. If you have acne scarring, you're probably having a lot of difficulties with your self-esteem, body image, you probably hate looking in the mirror, and it really can trigger some internal stuff. So really do the inner work, do what you can on the inside to help you be as healthy and vibrant as possible. Your skin will get better. This is just a phase in your life where it's kind of freaking out on you, hormones, lifestyle, all of that can really be contributing factors. So don't worry, do the best you can. Your skin will kind of figure itself out. But what I'd really like to warn you guys about is avoiding some of these oral medications, uh, Accutane in particular. We're actually seeing a lot of dry eye now with it and having the Accutane actually cause scarring in your myobium glands, which is what's important for creating uh, fluid to the eyes to create hydration of the eyes. So we're seeing dry eyes with people who have taken Accutane. Also, it messes with your mood and can cause significant acne scarring. So if you're thinking about taking Accutane, take my advice first and you know bump up your skincare, get some skin and laser treatments under your belt and use products that aren't clogging your skin up in the first place. There you have it. Like everything else, it's not gonna be a quick fix. It's gonna be a little bit of a process and incorporating a few things into the mix. It's a multifaceted approach that, in my opinion, requires expert guidance from people who really know what they're talking about, who are working with tons of clients like myself. Let me know down below if you've ever had a rejuvenation treatment to address scarring, what's worked, what hasn't, what products are working for you, what isn't maybe working for you. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Make sure to subscribe also because it lets me know that you guys want to see more of these types of videos. If you want to learn more about ways to correct your skin and whatnot, you can actually meet with me at rachelvarga.ca. I have a ton of free resources out there also. I'm on YouTube, podcast, blog, all sorts of really cool things. So I love sharing what I know with you guys out there to help you save time and money and achieve an optimal form of beauty and all that good stuff that goes along with it. Make sure you check out my next video on how to achieve glassy skin. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.